Okay, I'm going to attempt to do a chicken on one of these little mini canvases. So, I've got a little chicken head kind of drawn off on here. And I'm going to start base coating the different sections in. And see what we can come up with. a little farther away from me than I usually have it, so I'm going to have to reach to get it each time. Okay, that looks good enough for the red color. Now, I want this chicken to be a little bit of a brownish color. I'm just kind of brushing it in this to see what I can come up with to do some little detail work off of. So I have taken, I think it's honey brown, chocolate, milk chocolate and a touch of white and I'm just kind of brush mixing them together to get a a shade that I like the look of and I'll just move this paint around the canvas getting it all colored up to use a little extra water in my brush when I do my base coat so you really have to keep the brush moving on the canvas or you will lose some of what you're trying to start out with. It's just a really pretty yellow color that I like for for these kind of paintings. Just fill in this. The little beach area. A darker red. Let me find something that will work. Oh, let's see. Here's some black plum. It might be a little too dark, but what I'll sometimes do to not make it be so dark, once I get my little side load of color on my brush, I'll actually go back and add a little bit of the, the red base coat color so that it makes it not quite so, so dark, not quite so black plum, but just really deepens the, the red color so that you can see the shading and variations in the paint. And if this is not wanting to dry as good today as my colors did yesterday, so I may have to work around a little bit of that. Okay, now I've got some burnt sienna. I'm going to use it. I'm trying to hold this so y'all can see it. I'm going to use it to do the little shadow underneath and around the edges of the chicken. I love the color burnt sienna and I use it a lot in my paintings and I use it a lot as a little accent color because it goes so well with so many different colors. And so I just want a little bit on the, the outer edge. It is so humid here today. I'm trying not to use my air conditioner so I have fans going, which 
Sometimes there's a good thing and sometimes there's a bad thing because it will make your paint and stuff dry quickly on your palette. But then in some ways it will help my little paintings dry quicker so that I can move on with the various steps and not have a whole lot of wait time. I'm, I'm not a good waiter for paint to dry. So normally I have two or three paintings going at one time so that while one is drying, I'm just adding a little bit of that same burnt sienna to the bottom edge of the beak. Put a little shadow there. I, I, I have to have two or three things going at one time so that while I am waiting for paint to dry, I can actually be working on various parts of another piece to get them to similar stages. So I, I don't I don't like waiting. Okay, that's another one of those where you kind of have to hold your breath while you you make the stroke so that it you don't mess up. I'm take a touch of white, just a barely, barely, barely slight touch of that same yellow beak color. And I'm going to add a little highlight right in there and right in there and then across the top of the red. I come just inside the red. I don't want to lose all of my my comb on top of the chicken and we're not after a whole lot of detail this is just another one of those cute little magnets and the bottom of the, the beak to be a little darker Find the top edge just a little bit. I'm trying to do this one kind of quickly and maybe not have as long a video as some of the others, but just so that you kind of get the idea of, of what to do. Okay, now I'm going to attempt to, and I say attempt because I'm kind of winging this. Get her turned around like this. I'm going to attempt to just pull in some feathery looking areas by having a couple different colors on the brush at one time. Like I said, I'm not after a whole lot of detail so much as just a just a little general look here. I want to put some dark and light in at the same time. And then let's just get some wet on the brush, kind of blend that little edge out a little bit. Now, I'm going to put the little eye in. I think the black I had out earlier is gone, so let's get some fresh black. And let's see if I can pull this up just right. Of lay in the eye and then my little liner brush that I use for all of my little detail work.
that I just feel it needs to be. together just to to give the variation in the feathers because no feather is one solid color. boo-boo areas. And I think I need a touch of red right there. I'm quite to sit down on top of its head like I normally would like. And so that's just kind of a basic little fun chicken. I don't know what else I'll do to it, but I may add some color to the background. But I'm going to call the chicken done.